Today we're introducing a new feature called Sequences. And it's a way for teachers to stack and sequence roundtables using follow-up roundtables to deepen understanding over time. So it starts with, let's say, one single written roundtable in your class. Once the students complete the roundtable, you create a follow-up, which may be a verbal roundtable, where students participate in that discussion. And then, after that verbal roundtable ends, perhaps we have another verbal roundtable, and then another written roundtable as a final reflection activity. Over time, we will be stacking and sequencing these discussions on top of one another to facilitate deeper understanding, and when they all come together, they form a sequence, which is an organized grouping of roundtables inside of my classroom. Let's have a look at what this looks like inside of the Parlay application. Okay, you can create a follow-up roundtable from inside of written roundtables as well as verbal roundtables. We're going to show you the written roundtable one today because that's where you can also use the Genie. So I have my written roundtable discussion here. Students have all contributed. They've made their comments, etc., etc. If I come up here to the drop-down menu, you'll see a new button that says Start Follow-up which is effectively creating a follow-up roundtable. Now I have two options. I can start from scratch, and I can choose written roundtable or verbal roundtable, or I can use the Parlay Genie and choose written roundtable or verbal roundtable. We'll start by going from scratch. So let's say I wanted to create one from scratch. I would create, let's say I wanted to do a, a verbal roundtable. It creates a discussion prompt, and it's blank for me. So I can go in and I can add content to multimedia, instructions, discussion questions as a follow-up to the original written roundtable that we had. Then I can save that as a draft and invite students later, or I can create the roundtable right now and automatically invite all the same students who were invited to the original roundtable. But we're going to go back and actually show you what it looks like from the Genie's perspective. So in a written roundtable, you can use the Parlay Genie for your follow-up. Now what this does is it takes all the student responses and commentary and it takes the submission or the initial prompt and it synthesizes it all together and it asks the genie to create follow-up questions based on student contributions. So let's say that I wanted to do a written roundtable follow-up to this original written roundtable. I simply press written roundtable and the genie will start. It's going to analyze the data it's going to synthesize student submissions, and it's going to generate follow-up questions. And very soon, voila, I have a new discussion prompt called follow-up one. I can change the name if I want, and you'll see the new discussion questions are based on student responses to the original prompt, and then peer feedback instructions. And again, I can save this as a draft, or I can create the roundtable now, which will automatically invite students. So I'm going to save it as a draft. And in doing so, I now have a second roundtable. So you'll see here that the discussion questions have been created. If I go to the discussion, there's obviously no responses and no students have been invited. But you'll see here that it says two of two. And then the purple drop down here, if I click that, you'll see there's my original roundtable, which I can go back to at any time, one of two, as well as my follow up roundtable, which is the second one that I just created. And I can invite students, either by sharing the link or, of course, using the student list. And this is because I saved it as a draft. And now, if I go into this course, into English 12C, you'll see that I now have a sequence created here. So this sequence, if I click on it, has two roundtables. It has our original roundtable here, and it has our second follow-up roundtable. We could even change the title of the sequence as well. So, sequence on the environment. Let's just call it that, save the title. And so now I have two roundtables that are connected and I can of course go into my original roundtable, let's say here, and maybe I wanna do another follow-up, but this time I'm gonna do Parlay Genie verbal roundtable. It's gonna do the same thing over again. It's gonna create follow-up questions and it's gonna put them into a roundtable prompt for a verbal roundtable this time instead of a written roundtable. And again, I can change all these as I see fit. I'm going to save as draft again. 
And there you go, I can now invite students, and you'll see there are three roundtables. The original, the follow-up one, and the follow-up two. All stacked and sequenced together and organized nicely inside of my courses page. That's a wrap.